Hello everyone. Good morning from Warsaw. Okay, we're stoked today because we're doing something we don't actually usually do, which is like a self-guided, uh, full-on guilt-free food tour. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I didn't thought I was back in this. <laughs> Subscribe to follow along. We have a list. Let me pull it out quickly. Sorry, I should have had it ready. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. We've created a list. Of... A real list. Oh no. Did you grab the wrong list? Yes, you gave me the wrong one. Oh, it's my fault. Okay, take two. <laughs> All right, we got the real list. This is the list right here. We have 16 items. We're hoping we can try all of them today while we're out and about. There you go. All right. So we did some extensive research, which honestly, usually we don't do in terms of food. Yeah. We did. We did. A lot of work to do this. <laughs> but we're actually so stoked, woke up going, okay, let's go, we're gonna have some food today. <laughs> All right, turns out in Poland, pastries are a big deal, specifically donuts that are called Paczki. We're gonna be trying to pronounce everything today and I really like a list of how to pronounce it properly, so critique me in the comments, okay? Uh, but paczki can be filled with different things. We got uh, pistachio, for example, uh, plum or like rose, I think jam, different types of jams. Look at all these pastries, this is phenomenal. So I'm stoked, this is what I'm gonna have for breakfast and maybe like more than just one. Start with one. I think, with one. I think we I'm gonna go with the classic, options. I think Rosa's, I think the classic one. And I think that's what the lady for me, the older lady just got, so I think we'll get a typical thing. I am mouth watering right now. So I got the rose and almond. Look at this batch key. The cost of this was 650 zloty, which is a pretty good price. So far, I haven't hit the center. It's amazing. It is crispy and soft and perfectly sweet. Much better than Tim Hortons. <laughs> mm. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Look at that. Wow. I'm not a huge fan of like rose flavored stuff, but this I really like. It's like a strawberry jam filling, but instead it has that like sweet rose flavor. And I really like it. So as you may or may not know, so nice. I'm gluten free, so sadly I cannot have one of these delicious looking donuts, but I'm gonna try for the middle. The middle part. Mmm! Really good jam, huh? Like, it's not too sweet. That's amazing. It tastes, it tastes like supernatural. That's really not artificial. good. Wow. Excellent mm. first stop. Oh my god. We're on this major road here that leads to the Royal Route, which we walked yesterday, yesterday's video. It's a beautiful street. Looking for this restaurant right here, I think. We're gonna have some, not really breakfast food, but some Polish food, that's for sure. So yesterday we came to this chain of restaurants. It was actually like, it seems, from what we've well, seen, three big chains of Polish cuisine restaurants. And this is actually a different one of the one we went to yesterday. Physically different, Physically, but it's the same chain. Which we didn't realize until we were inside. Yesterday, in yesterday's video, when we, we explored Warsaw for the first time, I had the szurek, which is the soup, egg soup with ham in a bread bowl, which was really good. And, and I had, had a guam ki, nice. which was very good. It was a cabbage roll with meat and rice in it. So yeah. I had that yesterday. Iconic, and with tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. And so today we're getting two new dishes at this place to try. Keith is going with the most classic thing, I think. The pierogi. Woohoo! And I'm getting potato pancakes, because they're gluten-free, but also a very traditional thing to have here in Poland. Absolutely. This is the beginning. Food is here. It looks amazing. I got the bacon and potato pierogi. And I got placzki zimnian something. Placzki zimnian zim. Zim chen. Chen. No, I had it right the first. Give me. Trust me, I had it right. Placzki zimnia chen. Which are potato cakes. They look kind of like home fries. Honestly, not the healthiest breakfast, but I'm really excited. My mouth is watering. Yeah, and the sour cream, of course, on the side. <laughs> Thank you. 
hash browns and sour cream. Like you can't go wrong. It tastes amazing, of course. That tastes so nice. It's so delicate. This looks like a cup of mulled wine, um, but it's not. It's barch, which is a beetroot soup. We got a small portion in a little mug. Don't bring yourself. Oh wow, actually, Devin and I didn't think we were going to like it that much, but we were wrong. What's it taste like? This is lovely. It's really salty and like comforting and warming. Like vegetable soup, but like look at that colored broth. Ooh, yeah, it smells like soup. salty and yeah. It's really good. Let's see. Oh, nice, and then it's got the sweetness of the beet. Yeah. That's sweet. really nice. Sweet and salty, but it's like, isn't that comforting and warming? This would be perfect on like a cold winter's day or a cold spring day like today. It is cold. better now I was really hungry now I feel very full yeah. that was not the healthiest option but you gotta eat what you gotta eat on a food tour <laughs> and that's that we've had our first meal today well, that was delicious two food items because we're just gonna eat more <laughs> <laughs> very good yeah okay yeah we'll, we'll walk down the street a bit further digest a bit more and it is kind of raining so maybe it's raincoat time I think it might be. what do you think it's not too bad right now we'll survive I want to quickly mention that it's important to have data when you're doing a self-guided food tour to find locations, to know how to pronounce things, to look up things in restaurants. So quick shout out to Holify, which is the eSIM data plan that we use, not just for Poland, but for all of Europe. So if we cross the border, we, we still have data. If you use our code, Keith and Dev, or use our link, you get 5% off too. What's that sign say, Dev? This was an accident. I found a gluten-free bakery. That's oh, amazing. I'm and there's so many something. amazing bakeries here. Wow. You have to have all of this. You need to buy it all. Devin, you have to eat it all. Wow. I was not expecting this. Hooray, look at your smile. You lit up. I'm so excited. I just not expected this. This is so unexpected. It's so exciting. This isn't just a gluten-free bakery. It's also a gluten-free restaurant and it is stunning. If we were here in Warsaw for longer, we would definitely be coming here for dinner, but we're eating traditionally other than what I just got. We're trying to eat traditional Polish food, so we won't be eating here because it looks like delicious pizza and pasta. All right, so what did you get? So I got a, uh, do you remember what it's called, Keith? A push. No. It's a puff, like a puff ball. And she told us the name, and I said it a bunch, and now I don't remember. And I'm not going to eat it right now, but I also got myself a chocolate croissant. <laughs> this is only four zlotties. Okay. <laughs> I might have to get more. So. So it turns out that beautiful gluten-free restaurant, La Cantina, had patchki. Gluten-free patchki. We missed it, so of course we had to buy one. So, so I have one in this bag. Devin has a gluten-free donut. I will try it at some point, but right now I feel like I'm a little full and I need to take a break <laughs> from sweets. I still have my, my, uh, my pistachio donut, pistachio patchki. But that's so awesome. I didn't think I'd find a gluten-free version no. of this very traditional Well, we would have tried. Dish. I forgot to add something on the list. It's a waffle with, it's like a tube waffle with whipped cream in the middle. Rurka, rurka z bita, bitom, This was pretty cheap too, six lati. Um, I saw people walking around with just like this at the, like in their hand. I was like, that's a small little cone base. Turns out it's like this big. It's simple, it's just whipped cream and a little waffle. It's whipped cream in an ice cream cone waffle. It's good, it, but it's exactly what you think it tastes like. So the next thing we're gonna try are like these potato dumplings, they're called, and we think they're gluten-free, so we can both eat them. Okay. 
Cool. We are getting some pizzi's mizzi. We're having specifically the one that's traditional with minced meat. So it's pizzi zi miyasu. Sorry about the bad pronunciation, but it's minced meat and we're having pesto mushroom on top. The jar is warm. And I'm just gonna try and pull one of these out. Oh my god, they're so big. Oh, I'm pulling a piece out. I can't get a whole one. Oh wow. So that's what it looks like. Look at that steam. It's so good. Is it good? Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, the dumpling texture and the flavor is like really nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're just sitting here realizing that we're getting full. Yeah, it's heavy. the food here is very heavy. Also, very we have dense. Haven't had meat in like a long time. And so that also could be why we're feeling very heavy. A couple months. And also, the foods that we've chosen don't have very many vegetables. Vegetables. In them. <laughs> we've cho we've chosen like iconic the Polish most food. Traditional yeah. foods. I also added the things to our list, the last two items, the cone and my desserts. So gone up. That's what I'm going to cross out. Oh yes, the cone. The items that we've had. Nice. You can cross out the last thing. That was the ice cream. Oh yeah. Gluten free. Potato, 16. Pizza. And then this is like kind of similar. Potato dumplings. Can I cross that out too? What do you guys think? I'm going to cross it out because I think that was our potato dumplings we just had. Wow, nice. that's so nice. Although the heavy food and the rainy vibe is making us both a bit like Ah, cozy. But Tired. we're gonna keep walking. Woo. Okay, we gotta keep moving. We got some drinks. We got a couple main plates and then some desserts to have. Not in that order, who knows? Who knows, we have lots still to eat, so we're gonna do some walking around to try and burn off some calories because I don't know about you, but I'm full, getting kind of full. Yeah, this walk is nice actually, because I was falling asleep myself. <laughs> After a couple of corner stores, we finally found the Archtipek cheese, the smoked cheese. Uh, I'm not sure though if we want to get it. Not because it's like, I don't know. Because there's other things to get, you know? Just because it's on the list doesn't mean that we're gonna, we have to. So we could replace it with something else. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, well, we couldn't, um, we couldn't we decide on that cheese, so we decided to, to get something else. That we, we, some we, really count. we just need to hydrate. Yeah. I got Polish energy drink. I believe Engine. I hope, I hope it's Polish. I think it was. Anyways, <laughs> I just need some energy. This doesn't really count. <laughs> when it's cozy like this, I feel like it's important to have a little pick-me-up. Oh man, that's really good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, this is another one of the three major chains here that offer good Polish food and like all the things that we want to hit. We're just trying to like not go to them too much, but inevitable. Okay, so massive menu. We're getting something called mulled wine and mulled beer. Mulled beer, have you ever had mulled beer? I've never had mulled beer before. And then we're getting the pavlova and then also an apple sh like cake. The apple cake is called Charlotka. Devin's dessert is the Beza Pavlova. Mulled wine is pronounced Kijan Divo, and then malt beer is, I think, Kijan Pivo, Pivo being beer. Another thing about what Keith is getting, so it's an apple dessert that's very popular here in Poland, and we learned in a video yesterday that Poland is actually one of the number one, one, of, the one of the biggest exporters of apples in the world. We wouldn't know that because in Canada we grow our own apples. We're probably the other biggest. So we maybe. didn't realize that Poland also grows a lot of apples. Pretty neat. Wow. <laughs> Usually we don't go this hardcore with food. Like, we eat so much food today, and this is just like, oh my goodness. It looks amazing though. Okay, this is something that I've been wanting to have for a bit now. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. Dude, so good. Okay, they, they do really good desserts here. They really do. Poland knows their pastries and desserts. I believe cloves and oranges and cinnamon have been added. I'm not a huge cinnamon person, but I like it when it's a bit of flavor. If it's overpowering and if I'm not a huge fan. Oh, wow, this is really good. Look, it's red. Wait, what does it funny? taste like? I wonder why it's red. Why is it red? Hmm. It's um, it's like warm. It's warm beer with a bit of spices. 
Yesterday we actually came here, I got the mulled wine with Devon. It's quite powerful. This one is um, like not as strong alcoholic wise because it's beer instead of wine. So it, it's quite nice. Yeah, it's quite good. Cloves and orange juice and warm beer. Maybe I could do that at Christmas for the family. It's a pretty good idea. This is pavlova with whipped cream and cherries. My cousin Emily made us pavlova around Christmas time and it was so good and I've been wanting to have it ever since. So my mouth is watering, I gotta try this. So good. It's so good. <laughs> He's right. They know how to do the desserts here. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Also, like he said, I got some old one yesterday, but again, I can have it, it's food free. And it's just the perfect way to stay warm on a cozy, rainy day. It's nice. We pretty much only have three things left on this list, which is actually pretty amazing. I'm pretty proud of us. So, on that note, I think we're gonna go back, take a break for a bit because we've eaten a lot today, and then go for Not dinner. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And then go for dinner later to check off the last few things. Before it gets too warm, I'm gonna have a bit of this um, vodka. Bison grass vodka. I haven't had any in Poland. This is what is known here. It's big here. Here goes nothing. It goes well with what I ordered. Bigos. Wow. It is actually better than the hot crap that we drink at home in plastic bottles. Definitely warms you up in the afterwards. It's got a nice flavor to it. The bison grass. They put a, a blade of grass in the actual bottle. Try it, Oh gosh, I'm not a fan of vodka to begin with, so I'm gonna try a very small amount. That's actually not bad at all. Right, usually you get wow. goosebumps. Usually I get goosebumps in my face, it's like... It's like bad. But, but that you not. can feel the burn in your throat, but other than that... That's it. Wow. Yeah, isn't that a nice flavor? Yeah. It's floral. Holy smokes. That's good. We have here bigos and bread, sour cream, and pierogi ruski. We decided that we could actually get kielbasa sausage in our um, bigos, and also we had some yesterday in the... Soup you had. Soup. Damn it, I forget the name. Anyhow. So we don't need to get the sausage separately. We can get it like this. Also, Devin's feeling really tired and she might have had gluten today. So she's actually sort of feeling sick. I don't, we don't know what it was. Um, all right, here goes nothing. Sour, kraut, onions, mushrooms, and meats. That's quite nice. This is the pierogi ruski. Now this is the most classic pierogi, typical. Ruski doesn't mean Russian, by the way. It's a, another word, Ruthenian uh, pierogi. And of course the sour cream over here. So this is um, cheese uh, and potato. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Those are really good. I got fried this morning. She recommended fried the waitress, but steam makes more sense than boiled. Man, those are those are freaking good. Okay, that was an excellent meal. Yeah. I'm really happy we got those pierogies because they were really good. And we got to try all three chains today, which is wild. All three big Polish chains here. And, and of course, but not least, the final pechki from this morning, the pistachio one. This will be my dessert. And... These are so much better than donuts. They're not just cheap dough balls. These are made differently. These are made with love. They're so good. Crispy on the outside. Nice and soft on the inside. Oh my gosh. And our list. Hmm. I'm going to quickly cross out our last three. We had the stew, the bigos. Yep. Which kielbasa. had kielbasa in it, which is sausage. Because we had sausage yesterday and today. 
and Polish vodka, which was way better tasting than I was expecting. Polish vodka was really good. So that, we actually did it. We did have a few things yesterday. The only thing on this list we did not check off was the smoked cheese. We took it off because we saw it. <laughs> <laughs> and we said maybe next time. Yes. So it was like it was a lot. Good. We didn't really want to have that much. Yeah, we were looking also for like a, slice. a slice of cheese, which was hard to find. Which we tried, find. we couldn't find it. Anyways, Anyhow. very successful. The total is, do 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 da Pretty good amount. I mean, we cracked 100. Yeah. Um, Canadian in dollars. In Canadian dollars. But, you know, we're in Europe and we ate pretty well today. We did, we ate a lot today. That was good, high five. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching if you're still here. And we'll see you soon. See you soon, bye. Ruski, <laughs> I can't say it. Zbitan. Shmidan. Shmidan. I'm sure. Did you get that? Over my face? Yeah, leave it up your nose. <laughs> We're on the beautiful. S oh, Jesus. <laughs> Luke and Dakota, this is for you.